Hey guys, Kelsey, Badger Security and Survival. Another hot seat today. It's gonna be on the same deck that Clay just did, the Survival List series. Deck four, Conflicted the Card Game. All right, guys, Clay's gonna hand me a card here. Or I'm gonna pick a card. Mm. How much power and influence would you want in your immediate community after collapse of modern society and why? Power and influence. <clears throat> I think you could play both sides of this, so if you want the most power, the most influence, uh, and you know, if you're in a, your community having a higher power influence over other communities around, I think it would benefit to a certain extent when it comes to, you know, kind of how the structure of your long-term planning you want. And I, I think some people would, would think of it as, you know, strong arming other communities because your power influence, but you can't be doing things like that if you're in a survival situation and you're trying to survive long term. So you got to look at it as the benefits of the structure of how you want your long term goals to go. So if you feel, you know, you have more experience in how things could go and you could survive longer compared to other communities, that's where that power and influence would uh, come into play. On the other hand, the less power, the less influence kind of gives you that below the radar. So like, I think if, I think if you had, if you were on the high end of everything and you, and you structured it well, you wouldn't have to worry about, you know, like getting overthrown or things like that. But with the lower influence, the lower power, you fly under the radar. You don't have to worry about, you know, making the wrong decisions because you're kind of just, you know, going along for the ride. And, you know, maybe eventually that time comes where you do have to step up and run things. But I think, I think personally, I would like the lower side of things because like I said, you get to fly under the radar and kind of do your own thing compared to having to go out every day, every week, making all these decisions and making things, things are going in the right direction. All right, guys, make sure you put down in the comments below your answer to that first card. If you know the Hot Seat series, we do two cards, so Clay's gonna hand me another one here. We do want your guys' input though, so make sure you guys do so in the comments. After the collapse of a society, you have to walk home to your family. Your trip will last a week. If you could only carry one weapon during this trip, which weapon would it be? Oh, <clears throat> get it, Kelsey. So, for some of you that have kind of been with us for the long ride, there's been similar question to these in old and uh, like deck one and deck two that we've done about which gun you would carry. And we've, we had a huge debate on it because John's gun of choice is a shotgun, but we won't even get into it. Anyways, question, uh, what gun would I carry one week of survival? So I wish these were a little more explanatory. Like, do I have, what kind of supplies do I have? Do I just have a gun? Do I have food to last me? Because, yep, do I have to hide from the law? Am I running from, you know, if, do I have to deal with other communities that would be a problem to me, you know, that would try to take my stuff and that kind of stuff. So, but kind of covering each one. If I needed food, something like that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need like a, some type of rifle, you know, necessarily, not necessarily long range, but maybe long range, depending on the uh, terrain that you're in, the location in the world that you're in, all that's gonna take into factor what kind of, you know, when it comes to hunting, what kind of things do you have in your area to hunt? What gun do you need to do so? Because um, obviously you can't survive without food and water. Um, a week is kind of stretching it, especially if you're, I think you said what, you're walking home? Yeah, you have a walk home. So it's not like you're, you can just sit somewhere and just not do anything, conserve your energy. So hunting is gonna be a necess necessity. Obviously you wanna pick like an all around gun where 
you can also hunt with it, but it's good for defense because you may, you, you just got to assume that you're going to run in to a situation where you might have to defend yourself. And, you know, like, I guess, I guess if that was ruled out, you'd only have to worry about hunting, but it's, that's not the case in a survival situation. You always got a plan to defend yourself. So I think a good rifle would be my choice, not a shotgun. Um, just cause you know, a, a shotgun, it just, in my opinion, it, just re it restricts things down. So, you know, an AR gives you, gives you that long range, uh, some, some short range defense, depending on, I guess, you know, attachments and all that other stuff, uh, depending on the rifle itself. But, uh, I think an AR would be my choice, but obviously things change when it comes to, you know, your terrain, your location. Uh, it, it's just, it's just, a a lot of things that could change that decision, but just off the basics an AR would be my choice. All right, guys. Let us know what your answers are to these two cards that we just did in the comments down below. We want, really want to know what you guys think. Hit that like button if you want to see more of these hot seat videos. And uh, either, or you can submit us questions to answer on these hot seat videos. But we do like these cards a lot because there's just so many, so many questions on different subjects. So this is obviously more of a survivalist uh, card deck. But it's one of like 10 plus card decks, so we really enjoy it. Make sure you guys use the Badger 2017 uh, discount code on their website for 10% off any decks you guys want to buy. They, they are also coming out with a board game, so make sure you pay attention to that. See when it comes out. We don't have a definitive date yet, but they are uh, in the works with doing that. Make sure you guys like our Facebook and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And until next time, make yourself ready.